Hi everyone, my name is Costa, and today I'm gonna introduce you to a tool called Magic Path. Basically, this tool is like Figma on steroids, and I'm saying this because it allows you to create multiple prototypes at the same time using AI. So what it will take you like a few uh, hours or maybe a few days in Figma, it can take you like a few minutes in Magic Path. So today I'm gonna show you around the tool, and also we are gonna rebuild an existing uh, UI by a well-known company. So without further ado, let's get started. Once you sign up, that's what you'll get to see. On your left side, you have different buttons with a sidebar and you can navigate back to home, my files. You can even create a new file if you want to. Uh, also, you can uh, click on this community tab and you can find a lot of projects that other people have shared and if you want to check it out, you can just click on one of these projects. And yeah, now you can also copy the project. When you copy it, you can basically start to edit the project. So let's check it out, what they have created. I really like this. Uh, so yeah, now I will click on my files again, and then I will select the first project. It is my only project. And now right here, as you can see, we have a canvas. And inside this canvas, I have one screen which by the way, that's what I renamed it before, but it is usually called a component. As you can see here, it says components. So each new screen that you create is called a component. So if you wanna rename this, you can just click on these three dots and then click on rename and call it a component. Press enter and that's it. So if you want to navigate through the canvas, all you have to do is just press a space bar and then click and drag like this and as you can see I'm having the same infinite canvas that you have in uh, Figma so also if you want to zoom out or in you can just click on these icons or you can just uh, press and hold control and use the wheel on your mouse to uh, yeah I see that I have a problem so now if I uh, zoom in and out, it's again the same that you do uh, in Figma or maybe in Adobe Photoshop and other design tools that uh, you are used to. So, all right, now I will select this component right here and uh, here it says Ask Magic Path. So basically that is where the power lies with Magic Path. You can just click on this icon right here and now you can talk with AI. So, like I said before, we are gonna recreate a UI by an existing company. I'm thinking actually to create maybe the Netflix app for PC, for example. Yeah, let's do this. So I'm gonna ask AI, let's recreate the Netflix app for desktop. Please let me know what steps should we follow. So basically, you can also talk with AI. You don't have to give just a prompt and to receive a product. You can also talk to it and ask for advice. So I'm gonna click on this icon now and let's wait and see what AI is gonna tell me. So great idea first, we will design the main layout with a header, featured banner and movie rows. Next, we will add interactive elements like hover effects and details pop-ups ready to start with the layout. So I'm gonna just say ready and press enter. And now we have to wait. Also, by the way, guys, we can also uh, create a new component, but first let's admire this Apple lookalike uh, UI that we have here. I really like this gradient that we have. Um, so yeah, now let's uh, create a new component. For example, let's create some other UI like create a design tool similar to, to Figma. And now I will press enter. This time I'm not gonna ask AI to, you know, give me any advice, just I will press enter. And as you can see, we already have this component right here. So let's check it out. This looks good, but by the way, it is not finished yet. So as you can see, it's still building. All right, so it looks like it's finished the first screen. So now let's check it out. If you wanna watch it in full screen, you have to click on this icon right here and it's gonna open a new tab. 
and look at this guys this looks so so nice um let's see if this works okay right now the slider doesn't work but let's see the other things okay i can click on the nav bar right here and uh, i also have my profile picture i mean it's not mine just a random image and uh, yeah the, the, there is like as you can see we already have a a working prototype and now okay so if i click on this button right here uh, it opens this pop-up which looks really good which also by the way the ai has suggested me uh, a few minutes before that uh, we need to create and yeah it created this pop-up right here so all right yeah the layout looks really good we have all the icons okay so if we click on this button right here it opens the same uh, pop-up so i guess that is not that good so actually when we click on this button it should play like a video a, tri a thriller or something uh, right now it just opens this pop-up right here so i will move back to magic path and say that i will like i will like when i click on the play button to um actually show up of a video which plays instantly so let's see if ai is gonna be able uh, to create this uh, based on my prompt so as you can see it's going back to work and in the meantime let's try the new figma app that uh, magic pad has created so this looks very good i like the design it's really clean very clean ui as you can see okay so i will click on this uh, icon right here and i really love this ui this how simple it is and just imagine how long it will take you actually to come up with this idea and do it in figma uh, yeah we just did it in uh, two minutes or so with magic pad so let's see if it works i will click on this rectangle right here all right so yeah it works and i can even move around things i mean i really like this uh, let's increase the stroke yeah we can even increase the stroke i can't believe this uh, so the so that is definitely a prototype again that <laughs> uh, i i'm not sure that you can create in uh, in figma i don't think so and uh, yeah let's see you can rotate it as well uh, what else can we do uh, change the color yes and uh, let's try maybe some text okay we can also can i type something okay yeah i can type but i have to do it right here so hello nice okay so now i see uh, you can put it on top right here and we have this yeah uh, we have a small design right here and uh, what else can we do we can also create an ellipse so let's create an ellipse as well let's see if i can delete this one yes i can uh, i will select the select tool again put it right like this and then maybe let's select the text oops okay doesn't work maybe let's put it on top if it's possible yes even you can even drag layers guys i can't believe how good this is uh all right okay i don't see it anymore i don't know where it disappeared uh yeah it, it, it's weird but uh it, it works and uh, I, I think it's yeah it, it looks interesting so now let's go back to magic path and see if it's finished with uh, our netflix screen it's not it let's wait for a few minutes all right so apparently it's done with our iteration so let's check it out again let's create a new tab oh look at this guys like no way there is no way it created this one 
look at this UI, just... Holy shit, this is really good, I really like it. Um, okay, unfortunately we can't pause right now, but it looks really good. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna close this one right now. So yeah, guys, this is uh, how you use Magic Path, and I hope you like this video. I mean, I don't want to, you know, to show you too much, because I'm gonna create some other videos as well, and in the other videos I'm gonna create some other stuff. But I, I guess for the first video is enough. As you can see, we created two uh, new prototypes in just a few minutes. So that's very impressive to me. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I see you next time.